ever feel like we're living in a sci-fi movie? Hmm. With all the AI and self-driving cars, who hasn't these days? Right. But I'm talking about today's deep dive. Unidentified drones, a top-secret airbase, whispers of explanations that would make Fox Mulder proud. Sounds intriguing already. We're looking at this Eurasian Times article from just a few days ago. It details this crazy drone activity at Langley Air Force Base, December 2023. Langley? You mean where they keep those F-22 Raptors, those stealth fighters? The very same. And apparently they had some uninvited guests. Uninvited guests, huh? Not just like the neighbor's kid flying their drone over the fence. No, no, much more serious than that. This was a whole situation. We're talking multiple drones, some supposedly 20 feet long, flying over 100 miles per hour showing up night after night for weeks. Okay, now that's not your average drone hobbyist. 20 feet, that's like bigger than some cars. What's the article say about who is behind it? That's the thing, nobody seems to know. Theories flying around, yeah. of course, rival nations, high-tech espionage, but the article says even President Biden was briefed on this whole thing. That's how seriously they were taking it. Wow, <laughs> and they couldn't figure out who or what these things were? Nope, and it gets even weirder. These drones, they weren't just randomly buzzing around. They were flying in formation, even going near Norfolk. Norfolk, as in the biggest naval base in the world. You got it, which is, you know, just a hop, skip, and a jump from Langley itself. So you've got these unidentified super drones flying in formation near some of the most top secret military spots in the U.S., and nobody can figure out who's controlling them. That's uh, that's a bit unnerving, to say the least. Unnerving is one word for it. Yeah. And it gets even more complicated from there. I mean, it's almost like something out of a movie. Like, how do you even begin to wrap your head around that? Well, it definitely highlights a pretty major vulnerability. I mean, we're talking about billions, trillions even, poured into defense. You've got your fighter jets, your radar systems, the works. But something like this happens, and it kind of shows you how quickly those systems can get outmaneuvered. It's almost like... What's the saying? You brought a tank to a mosquito fight? Or something like that. Yeah, you're not wrong. All that firepower and a little drone slips right past. And the article mentions some other examples, too, like that drone that was flying over a U.S. aircraft carrier yeah. in Japan. There was footage of it. Even ended up on Chinese social media. No way. Seriously. Oh, yeah. And get this. There was that other incident with... Hold on. I think it was five drones. Yeah, five drones that actually got into a nuclear facility. Oh, hold up. Five drones just wandered into a nuclear facility. Since when do we have such lax security? A top secret one in Nevada, no less. And that's the thing. It's not even just military bases anymore. Power grids, water treatment plants, all the, those are vulnerable too. Okay, now you're just being scary. But I see what you mean. Imagine that drone's shutting down the power grid in the middle of winter. Talk about chaos. Exactly. And because these things are so small, so maneuverable, they can get places that, you know, your average fighter jet or missile just can't. I'm getting a serious War Games vibes. You know that movie? <laughs> You're not about to tell me a drone is going to start World War III, are you? <laughs> Let's not go that far. But it is true that these situations can escalate quickly. Think about it. If you can't even tell who's behind it, is it a prank? Is it a government? Is it some guy in his basement? Suddenly, things are a lot more tense. So where do we go from here? What are we supposed to do? Like, build a giant net around the entire country? Well, it's not quite that drastic. Though the article did mention the Air Force is looking into anti-drone nets, specifically to protect those F-22s at Langley. Really? So, like, actual nets? That's what they came up with? It sounds simple, but we're not talking about your grandma's badminton net here. They'd have to be, you know, heat resistant, able to handle those crazy speeds. And I imagine they have to be pretty much invisible to radar. Oh, uh, OK. So high tech nets to combat the high tech threats. Makes sense, I guess. But that still seems very like location specific. What about the bigger picture? All that vulnerable infrastructure we were talking about? Well, that's the thing. This isn't just about protecting military targets anymore. It's about rethinking security entirely. In this age of, well, these crazy advanced drones that anyone can get their hands on. So what, do we all need to get our own personal drone defenses now? It might not be that far off. But seriously, we're talking about upgrading radar systems, maybe some AI-powered detection and interception, even using our own drones for defense. So like a drone versus drone future. Sounds intense. It definitely has the potential to be. And of course, there are tons of ethical questions that come with that. Like, when is it okay to take down a drone? Who decides that? And what happens when these defensive technologies end up in the wrong hands? So many things to think about. It feels like we've only just scratched the surface here. For you, what's the biggest takeaway from all this? What should people be paying attention to as this technology keeps 
you know, doing its thing. I think the key is to stay vigilant and adaptable. This isn't your grandfather's security threat, right? It's constantly changing. So we need to be nimble, innovative, and ready to throw out those old playbooks when we have to. It's a brave new world out there, and it sounds like these drones are just the beginning. So we dove deep into this drone mystery, but we still don't really know what it was. A prank, a warning shot, or peek into a future we're not ready for. Guess that's for everyone listening to decide. Until next time, keep an eye on the skies. You never know what you might see.